Unit Six. Folk Tales. Page fifty-eight. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. I phoned you around nine p.m. last night, but no reply. Oh, I was doing some internet research on Vietnamese legends for my project. Have you found one you like yet? Not really. Can you suggest anything? We have lots of legends, folk tales, and fables. A popular one is the legend of Lac Lam Wung and Ao Ke. Oh yeah, what's it about? Well, it's about the origins of the Vietnamese people. Who are the main characters? Lac Lam Wung, the Dragon King of the Ocean, Ao Ke, a fairy, and their sons. And what's the story? Let me see. Lac Lam Wung married Ao Ke. She gave birth to a bag of one hundred eggs. Which produced one hundred baby boys. One hundred baby boys—that's a lot. And some years later, Lac Lam Wung missed the sea, so he took fifty of their sons to the sea, and Ao Ke took the others to the mountains. Those boys were the ancestors of the Vietnamese. What an interesting legend it is! I think I found the subject of my project. Unit six, page fifty-nine. Getting started. Activity two. Match the words with their definitions. Then, listen, check, and repeat. One. A very old traditional story from a particular place that was originally passed on to people in a spoken form, fable. Two. An ancient story about brave people or magical events that are probably not true. Fairy tale. Three. An imaginary story, typically involving magic or fairies, usually for children. Folk tale. Four. Traditional imaginary short story that teaches a moral lesson, typically using animal characters. Legend. Unit six, page sixty. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity four. Listen and repeat the sentences, paying attention to intonation. Do they have rising or falling intonation? One. What a colourful hat she is wearing. Two. What a time we had today. Three. What beautiful eyes she has. Four. What a nice day it is. Five. What good news it is. Unit six. Page sixty. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Practice these sentences. Then listen 
and repeat. One. What a beautiful princess she is. Two. What brave knights they are. Three. What a big nose the wolf has. Four. What a fierce ogre it is. Five. What a handsome prince he is. Unit six. Page sixty five. Skills two. Listening. Activity one. Listen to the fairy tale, the princess and the dragon, and correct the following statements. Once upon a time, there was a king and a queen who lived in a castle with their beautiful daughter. One night, an ugly ogre captured the princess, and put her in his tall, dark tower. The king and the queen were very sad. They promised to give gold to the knight that rescued the princess. Many knights wanted to rescue her. But they all ran away when they reached the tower and saw the ogre roaring with anger. One day, a dragon was flying over the tower when he heard the princess cry for help. The dragon flew down to the tower, took a big fiery breath, and blew the ogre far away. The dragon rescued the princess from the tower. And gently put her on his strong back. They flew back to the castle. The king and the queen were so happy. The dragon turned into a handsome prince and married the princess. They all lived happily ever after. Unit six. Page sixty five. Skills two. Listening. Activity two. Listen again. Fill in the missing words. Once upon a time, there was a king and a queen who lived in a castle with their beautiful daughter. One night, an ugly ogre captured the princess, and put her in his tall, dark tower. The king and the queen were very sad. They promised to give gold to the knight that rescued the princess. Many knights wanted to rescue her. But they all ran away when they reached the tower and saw the ogre roaring with anger. One day, a dragon was flying over the tower when he heard the princess cry for help. The dragon flew down to the tower, took a big fiery breath, and blew the ogre far away. The dragon rescued the princess from the tower. And gently put her on his strong back. They flew back to the castle. The king and the queen were so happy. The dragon turned into a handsome prince and married the princess. They all lived happily ever after. <laughs>